I'm here at my uh, at the workshop. My studio is right there. So the base, it looks like uh, the base of a wedding band. That's what they tell me. And I'm gonna modify it to make it look more rock and roll. So because the varnish is, is red, it's all red and or orange, it doesn't look too good. And I discovered a couple of issues also with the with the bridge, with the tailgate and with the end pin. Um have to fix those as well. But for now I'm gonna change the color. There's one thing I want you to remember. This bass is my touring bass and I only use it with the, with the rock and roll band or with the band when I'm playing uh, through amplifiers. Plus I can, I can, I don't have to worry if it gets uh, roughed up a little bit on tour. When we do acoustic gigs and when I'm in the studio I use the other bass which is an old really nice bass. I don't recommend doing this with your bass. I don't recommend doing this with any bass that's of any kind of value because this is gonna be dangerous. Don't do this at home and um, let's get started.
Sally Bones in her maze. She tosses plastic, charcoal, wood, and grains. I'll be her fire, she makes me scream. And soon her star will shine and rise like a wet dream. Black hair, second hand coats, shoveling dreams from coast to coast. Her punch on radio plays how it will hold names. Forecast the sun and sky. So we're back in the workshop. This is the base. I put on four layers of linseed oil based varnish. It looks really messed up. That's how I wanted it to be. The next step will be to put on all the gear. Putting on the bridge, the end pin and the tail. It's gonna be an awesome base. Check your eyes, she'll come your way. You know what time it is because she's here to stay. She'll tell no lies, she owns the sun. She's moving dreams, one by one. She's naked in the streets. You wanna see her, baby, dance and go. Yeah.